Diane Durzis owns the New Women Healthcare Clinic in Birmingham, Alabama. It's a clinic that uh, provides abortions and, and has for more than three decades. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Now, you knew Dr. Tiller for uh, years. What was your reaction when you heard about this shooting? Absolutely stunned. Uh, also not surprised. We've all known that something like this was going to happen. Uh, the question was, who was it going to happen to? You uh, were, your clinic was the one that was bombed, actually, as well, right, in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, by Eric Rudolph, uh, the suspect who's now serving time because of that. Um, right. What is it like going to work knowing you have a target on your head? It's, it's been like that for many years. Um, you know, every abortion provider in this country knows uh, what kind of um, atmosphere we work in. Uh, we have these people in front of the clinics that um, these antics would not be uh, allowed in any other business, but it's, it's part of what we do. Uh, and I think you would have the hundreds of abortionists tell you the same thing, that we are all proud of what we do, we love what we do, that we do serve women, um, and that we do so knowing what the risks are. And when you say you love what you do, can you explain more about that for people who, uh, you know, understand what a contentious situation it is? It's a choice that it, you know, no one wants to have to make. Uh, people make it, obviously. But when you say you love what you do, explain that. You know, you can't meet and talk with the women that we see on a daily basis and not know that what you're doing is right and moral. Uh, you know, and Dr. Tiller. The, the women he saw were the, well, he was the last resort. These were women who had wanted to be pregnant, um, who valued their pregnancies, and for whatever reason, uh, were forced to terminate. And, and the, um, you know, I think that's the important thing, is we know what kind of a role we place in the community. I mean, no one would choose to do this for a job. Uh, it's a calling. And, um, this is something that's been roundly denounced, this shooting uh, by pro-life activists as well, including uh, Reverend Pat Mahoney of the Christian Defense Coalition. He said, it's tragic. The probability is that someone who opposed abortion did this. The reason we are pro-life is because we hate violence on any level. I don't know of one legitimate pro-life leader who would not unequivocally condemn this. Now, of course, y you own an operating- That's a lie. Y you don't believe th th those Absolutely words? Absolutely not. These people, is, the rhetoric these people espouse calls for our deaths every day in front of these clinics. You know, he's saying that only because of the timing of this particular shooting. Uh, Randall Terry, you know, you also hear him calling George Tiller a mass murderer. They have websites, they have wanted posters. These people have put the target on our chest, on our backs. Um, you don't differentiate you, you, between uh, people who are opposed to uh, abortion and, and pro-life for their religious reasons uh, versus those who uh, are promoting violence. I know the websites that you're referring to uh, where there's a line through uh, people that have been killed. Um, you don't differentiate between the extreme and people that just hold the position? Make no mistake. There are so many people in this country who are pro-life and are decent, hardworking, uh, good people. But the people, by and large, who stand in front of these clinics every day have their own agenda. And that agenda is to do away with abortion in whatever way they can. The election of Barack Obama put them in a corner. They're losing, and the only way they see to um, take care of this is to kill us. This is just the first of what I foresee as many more. And, and this is certainly an uncomfortable question to ask, but you know, it, it, it makes you wonder, in all the articles I was reading, it said that uh, Dr. Tiller was one of three doctors in this country that perform late-term abortion. Um, so there's two more, I guess you could say. And you're right, right. The, the targets are out there. I mean, if you look on the internet, people's names, uh, where they live, it's all out there. So what happens if, you know, God forbid, uh, there's more violence, there's more killing, would that end late, uh, the ability uh, for late-term abortion? I would hope not. I think what you see, um, these providers know, again, what the risks are. Um, but they've decided to take their medical, their medical training and help women. You know, I hope that you're going to see more physicians stand up to take George Tiller's place. Now, that would be the ideal thing.